this cookie that kind of brings me back to my roots in my childhood. Hi, I'm Nathan, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make pineapple tart. Pineapple tart is a buttery cookie that has pineapple jam on top of it. One important thing my aunt told me to recognize is when you get the canned pineapple for the pineapple tart is to make sure it's stored in its juices, not like the sugary syrup type. So when you're cooking the pineapple jam, it's very, very important to get all the moisture out. So cook it until it's very dry. And when you think it's done, go ahead and take it out and put it in a strainer and let it sit there for about 20 minutes or so, just so all the moisture really gets out of there. One nice subtlety about this pineapple jam is that it's usually flavored with a spice. My aunt likes to use cinnamon, but typically you can find anise and cloves as well. Typically this is made for Lunar New Year and what friends and family would do is they make it homemade and they would give it to their friends and family because the pineapple in Chinese culture symbolizes wealth. So when you give it to someone that you care for, it's like you're wishing prosperity and wealth to them. It's very difficult to find pineapple tarts here in the States. So every time I, when I go back to Singapore, I always have like my friends who are also Singaporean ask me to bring it back because this is a very special cookie to all of us and it's something that we all like to share together. For those of you who might not have seen this video, Nikki Ree and I made a video about Nikki trying to recreate this cookie from her childhood, which is pineapple tart. So I asked my aunt for her recipe because this is something that's also special to me and my childhood. I was a bit concerned that she wouldn't want me to share this family recipe with the world, but I was happy when she told me that good food is meant to be shared. So this one is for you guys. My dad is from Singapore, but I was born in America and I moved to Asia at a very early age because of my dad's work. But when I was just a little older, I moved back to the States when I was five. Growing up as an American Asian, I really fell out of touch with my Singaporean heritage. And that's why this cookie and this recipe is very important to me because it's this cookie that kind of brings me back to my roots in my childhood. No matter what age I am, whenever I would go visit my aunt, hearing her voice just instantly makes me feel like a child again. And it's that feeling that it's usually followed with a nice homemade pineapple tart. So pineapple tart comes in a variety of shapes. Today we're making one that kind of looks like a sunflower and with a lattice on top. The ones I had growing up that my aunt made were a, was like a ball stuffed with it inside. Choose your own adventure. One important thing about the pineapple tart is to make sure to let it rest after it bakes. I know you'll be tempted to eat it because it's gonna be warm and gooey, but trust me, it's gonna taste a lot better if you let it rest. The flavor is gonna just come together a lot more and it's gonna intensify. So when you bite into a pineapple tart, the first thing that hits you is that crumbly, buttery cookie, and it's nicely followed with the pineapple jam, which is like sweet, it's tart, but it's not as tart as like a regular pineapple. It's a lot more mellow and a lot sweeter. And it's just the combination of it all just kind of works really well. It's hard to say like what Singaporean food is because it's made up of so many different cultural identities. So no matter where I go, I seem to be always drawn to all sorts of Asian foods. But the one thing that really ties me to my childhood is pineapple tart. Oh, yes. 